So I'm taking a little trip to St. Cloud today, which is about two hours drive away. So I need to put some things in my bag. And I have this Bush Gardens, um, Bush Gardens, um, I don't know, travel bag, I guess you would call it. It's not very big. It's, it's good size. It has an inside zipper spot, an outside zipper spot, different places for things. So uh, I need to take some uh, watercolor books with me. So I have lots of pages left in this one. So I think I'll take this one. I don't need to take this one, although I like that too. But you know how I am, I like all the things. So we're gonna take that. And then I have some um, sketching in this one. Um, Marlene sketching in this pen. So that'll actually be kind of nice. Put a little dot on there. And the thing about this particular sketch ink is once it's dry, it's waterproof. So we'll take that one. And if this fits, I might take this. And what this is, it's a pencil case. I bought a few years back, they're still available. And I like favorite colors are in here to take with me. So when I got some pens and marker and a water brush, which has no water in it. So we'll remedy, remedy that before I take off for the day. Um, oh, I'm going overnight, so. And then the space here for other things, like this is a cover for this. I mean, anything can be a watercolor palette. So we'll just set that back in there like that, because it's no good if I have to pull it out and do that. And I need a pencil. If I can find a pencil, well, good luck with that. The other things that I actually really want to have is um, my parallel pen. It's a 2.4 millimeter pen. Hopefully you can see that. That can fit in there. My Hong Dion is black ink. That can go in there. I don't need the jelly roll in there. And some water travel brushes. So we'll take that one. Um, we'll take that one. I don't know if I'll use that one, but oh, here is a here is a water a water brush. So we can take this one. And that one can stay in there. And then then this one. So, and they don't fit because, why don't they fit? Those fit. These don't fit. Well, then these will have to go into that pocket there. So we have this. Sonic the Hedgehog fits on the bottom, fits in the bottom of the bag. And um, there's always some things. Now, I recommend when you go to an art store, when you go pay for your art supplies, they have pencils. And they're usually about $3. It's a way to make an extra $3 off you, and that's perfectly fine. This is a Mega Quattro water brush, and this one is just a, wa uh, a pencil watercolor that's not a watercolor pencil, it's a, let's try this. Okay, so, and I mean, this can be totally fun to play with. And that's a watercolor brush or a watercolor pencil. No, I didn't say it was the greatest thing. <laughs> that's not the point the point is it's nice to have it's fun to have if you want to go drawing something somewhere so we'll take those with and just for the sake of conversation let's show you this sketching now 
I don't always, I mostly use black. But I thought this was kind of cool. So, yeah, we're going to go with that one. And this one, um, this parallel pen, I have sepia. I had red in it, and then I put sepia in it. Parallel, no, oh, it's two L's. Parallel pen, and they're fun to. They're just, they're just amazingly fun to play with. So that's pretty cool. And they come with all kinds of. You can get all kinds of ink with them. Right here, mixable colors, all these different colors that are in it. So yeah. Okay, so that would be the sketchbook and the pencils because you sometimes can never have enough pencils. The watercolor case. And we need a rag. I know this one looks terrible, but it, it totally works. So we'll put this rag in here. That'll fit. And a water cup because I don't always use my uh, watercolor. Um, I don't always use this because I'm not particularly fond of them, but I'll use them in a pinch. So that's that one, put that in there. See, we got lots and lots of room in here. And then we also have room for extra um, fountain pens or, or whatever it is that we think that we need. I also have a um, some tape. I'm gonna put that tape in there. There's another watercolor brush. I think that goes in this. Well, we won't put that one in there. And you know what? I think I changed my mind. I'm gonna actually bring this one with. Because I think this one, might, this one might actually be fun. I have a few pages left in here. So, yeah. We'll put that in there, too. And the only thing missing would be a bottle of water, which is easily purchased or brought with. And the neat thing about this one is it flaps over and it you carry it across your shoulder. And it's not a big bag, it's not a lot of stuff. And I tend to get carried away and think I need to bring everything with me. So yeah, no, we're not we're not bringing everything with. We're just bringing a few things and enjoying the the outing. Anyways, uh, what's in your art bag? These are some of the things that are in mine. And I unloaded this art bag, which is a really cool art bag. Oh, look at here. I even got a shell in there. And this particular art bag, somebody's going to say, well, tell me about this one. Well, this one, I got pocket here and here and here. Six pockets on the outside, which you'll see. I got, I think, eight pockets on the inside with all my things. And all that stuff fits in there. In fact, this bag <laughs> even fits in it <laughs> if you're so inclined to take the whole thing with you. But sometimes if you're, just, if you're walking and doing something like that, you don't want to have to take, um, this is, you're just going to carry on your hand where this, you can go across your body. Okay. You got to have art supplies. And then in my purse, I always carry the purse that I carry around with me. I always have a watercolor book in there. So yeah, I'm never without watercolor paper. Thank <laughs> you.
and it makes me feel good to know that I have those things with me. And what's in here, oh, I will show you. It's a little watercolor palette. This was bought on Amazon, and this was just mints. Uh, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby, uh, little mints. Put that in there. And this is a Altoids box. Yeah, and then I have a few colors in there too. Yeah, so where well, there's a will, there's a way. Hey everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great arting weekend and happy Easter. And if you like this sort of thing, uh, comment and let me know if you don't like this. I mean, all things work. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you. Have a great weekend. Bye.